Stamp Affair campers. This is Betsy Veldman for Paper Tray Inc. and we are having lots of fun today. One of the things that the team is doing today is showing you all kinds of different techniques using each of the different Paper Tray Ink ribbons. And I got to work with the Bitty Dot ribbon and I'm going to show you how to make some of these cute little flowers using the Bitty Dot ribbon. So let's get started. So I have a roll of Hibiscus Burst Bitty Dot and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some pieces. Uh, these are about one inch long. And I start with one, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut a second one. I'm going to layer it over the top, make kind of an X. Uh, you can see where the edges um, of the first are kind of touching the edges of the second. There aren't any gaps, I'm just overlaying them. I'm going to move on to a third piece. And again, just kind of keeping it that one inch length, layering it over top of my stack. And there we go, we're going to cut a fourth one. I'm going to actually have a total of six pieces as I go around. I'm just kind of building a circle here. My last and final piece here at the top. You'll notice how all of the corners of those pieces are kind of touching each other. It almost makes for a, a solid circle. The pieces don't need to be exactly the same length, just uh, keep them sort of uniform. Now I'm going to take a needle that I have pre-threaded here with a little bit of, so just this, this is just a normal sewing thread, and I'm going to insert my needle from the back side of my stack of ribbon pieces. I'm going to make sure that I um, am going through all of the pieces and securing them all together. I'm just going to take a couple small stitches and pull those nice and tight so they stay together. Just one more stitch here. I'm going to go back up one more time and down. I'm going to make sure my flower is not going to fall apart. Alright, now I have a tiny glass bead and I'm going to put that on my needle. That's going to make just a nice little center for my flower. I'm using a glass bead because the, uh, we're going to be using a candle flame in just a minute here to kind of singe the edge of my flower to give it it makes the ribbon curl up into that cute little flower shape and I'm not exactly sure what would happen if I used a plastic uh, bead or even a button you could give it a try but I um, thought I'd stick with the glass bead because it does get fairly hot so I'm just gonna tie off my threads here on the back take a couple um, small stitches and knot that in the back side Go ahead and trim the ends. Now I'm going to take my candle, light it, Then I have this great little uh, tool. This is actually from Pebbles Ink. Um, it came with one of their chalk, their chalking sets, and it's a great little tool. I use it for embossing all of the time. But I'm going to clip my flower on there, and I'm going to singe it with the candle flame. And this is kind of a delicate process. You need to be careful. You see how I'm going up and down real quickly with the with the flower into the flame. It needs to get close enough that it starts to melt the ribbon and make it curl, but you don't want to get too close. You don't want to keep it in that heat too long or you're going to have a, a pile of melted goo. So you'll see how I'm, um, the technique I'm using here, I kind of keep my flower moving all the time and I just uh, lower it down into the flame and as soon as I start to see those petals kind of curling, pull it right back up again. And you can pull it out and um, kind of do some fluffing there on the petals. You'll see how I'm going to just dip it down in there real quickly and as soon as I see those edges curling I pull it right back up again. You can just keep going until your flower looks uh, the way you want it to. Oops! <laughs> it was just about one in the fire. Alright, and then you can just fluff your petals if some of them kind of melted together a little bit on the ends. Just pull that out and pull it apart. And separate them a little bit and like I said you can go back and and uh, reheat some of the petals if you think they need to be curled a little bit more but 
I think this one is pretty good. So we're going to move on with our uh, card assembly. I'm going to start off with a block of vintage cream cardstock. This is four inch by five and a quarter inch. And then I'm going to take this leaf uh, cluster from turning a new leaf. And I'm going to be using new leaf ink. And I'm going to just ink that up. And I'll stamp that a couple times, um, kind of in a cluster at the top left corner of my cardstock panel. Ink that up one more time, kind of nestle that right there against my first one. I'm going to go ahead and without re-inking it, I'm going to stamp it one more time. I love the way that gives dimension. I've been doing a lot of that lately. I'm going to ink it up one more time and I want it uh, half strength again so I'm going to stamp off on my scrap paper and then just add a little cluster over here off to the left. Now we need a little bit down in the bottom right corner so I'm going to ink it up again. Just want a little bit of that cluster showing on the bottom left to kind of carry your eye from the top corner on down to the bottom. Now I have a small stamp here from the Mendy Medallion set. I'm going to um, use some pure poppy ink and I'm going to stamp this tiny little, it's almost going to look like berries, um, into the background. Again this tiny little medallion is from Mendy Medallion. And adds a little bit of interest to the leaves. All right, now I have a sentiment. Um, this is from the half and half set, and I'm going to be stamping it with some true black ink. And I'm going to fit it right in that um, opening there between my two clusters. I have it um, lined up on my grid block here so I can make sure that I'm getting it stamped nice and straight. I'm going to let it overlap uh, my leaf clusters there. Alright, now I'm going to adhere my stamped panel to a uh, four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base made from orange zest cardstock. And then I'm going to add a border up at the top, which I cut from um, the, using the filigree border die and some new leaf cardstock. I have it trimmed down to size already, so I'm going to just adhere that across the top edge. Now I have a couple more flowers that I um, made before my video started here using the same method with the candle and the ribbon. I'm going to just take some glue dots and adhere those to my leaf clusters. I'm going to put one right about there. That's, uh, that's an orange one that I made from Orange Zest Bitty Dot Ribbon. Now I have another hibiscus flower. I'm going to position that right about there. And then my last and final flower I'm going to put down in the lower right corner. And that's all there is to it. That's our card and our, our great little ribbon flowers. Um, they were really fun to make and super easy so I hope you can give it a try. Thanks for watching. This has been Betsy Veldman for Paper Tray Inc. and I hope you're having a great time at our stamp affair. Mm -hmm.